and welcome. This is Melissa Armo, the Stock Swish, and here we have the market. Brandy wall time highs once again. Hard to believe I went long today for the first time when what feels like 100 years, but I knew what I was looking for. If I saw it, I said, boom, I'm going to do it. And to be honest with you, today is Tuesday. Yesterday was Monday. When I looked at the market, because I was off last week on Sunday, yeah, no, I looked at it Sunday from what happened last week, and I thought we were going to uh, make this move over the high Monday, which was yesterday. We didn't. Um, and then here it is. It was today. So it's it's kind of crazy, but it, I mean, this is it. And could we continue higher here? Yes. 305 was a target. Next target's 308. After that, 310. Could we really see some significant traction here finally? I, I think it's a possibility. I mean, when you look at stocks right now that are the movers and the shakers in the market, Apple is one of them. Let's take a peek at this just in the bigger picture here too. Next target for Apple is 125. Uh, we did not get through that, but you can see here, we got close, 123.50, and then here's where the 125 area is. So we could see some traction here in the queues. We could see some traction here in Apple. And if we lift over this number, if this goes over it, 130 is in sight. So a lot of great trades today called by me. Um, and longs for the first time in what feels like I said 100 years. I have been waiting for the confirmation and I really felt like today was it um, and all of these trades worked um, and maybe we'll even do some day trades long this week. I mean, you know, these were calls in the options newsletter that I called here today and they all went. And, uh, and this market, I was on Cheddar this morning and she asked, said, well, why is the market making new highs when the COVID deaths are up? Remember, I don't look at fundamentals. I look at the price action, I read the price action, I get up in the morning and I rate the gap and I read the gap. I'm looking for buying or selling if I'm going short. And today in the cases, I said, hey, this is buying, it's coming in and it's gonna follow through and it did, it did today. So we will see exactly where we close here. It's almost two o'clock, two hours left in the day, but some nice moves here today. Netflix, Apple, some really nice calls in the options newsletter. If you're interested in signing up for the newsletter, I'm running a cyber sale through the end of the week through Friday, 20% off. That's a fantastic deal, actually. Email me at melissa.thestockswoosh.com if you'd like more information. Have a great day, everyone.